Vaping has become so popular among school aged kids, the FDA has declared it an epidemic. Studies show the use of e-cigarettes is now higher among high school students than adults. Vaping has become such a problem that some high schoolers decided to create a PSA about the dangers. Chrissy Etheridge takes a look at their message. Absolutely nothing. Something that people just do that's not addictive. It starts out by asking people what they know. I don't know much, I guess. Some type of liquid. By the end, they set the record straight. Chemical that can be lethal to your lungs. Lobbing facts to each other about the dangers of vaping. Addictive substances on the planet. Six Fayette County students from three different schools wrote, filmed, and produced the PSA. I sat down with three of them. Is vaping kind of a big issue in schools? Yeah, it's, um, it's actually getting a really big problem. Kids are doing it a lot, especially in bathrooms are doing it to the point where at first in my school they had to lock a bathroom, two bathrooms because uh, the kids were doing it so bad enough that they couldn't stop it. They're doing, they're even getting bold enough to do it in class while the teacher's in the room. That is bold. Yeah. Why do you think it's become so popular? Basically it's social media because like it's a, it's a cool thing and I guess like the flavors I guess it's I don't know. I've never vaped, but it's also really easy to get. And a lot of the seniors who are 18 will buy them and then go and sell them to the younger kids at our school. Nearly 21% of high school students vaped last year. That's about 3 million nationwide. Even middle schoolers are getting in on the trend, about 5% according to the CDC. Would you say this is one of the biggest issues facing students your age? I feel like it's, it's a new issue, so it's something that we want to catch before it gets to the point where it's something that we can't really like handle, like weed, for example. You can turn them on and off. So that's why a lot of them, if they're off, you can't smell it. But so, if they're on. But if they're on, you can't. Like a sweet smell. That's yeah. what I've smelled, like cotton candy. I've smelled like cotton candy before. Coordinator for Safety and Discipline, Dr. Ted Lombard, says that's usually what gives it away. If you walk by a boy's bathroom, you s smell a, a fruity smell, you know something else is going on there besides uh, just boys going to the bathroom. Lombard says Fayette alone has seen a fourfold increase in tobacco and e-cigarette use. And since they can be disguised as other shapes, they can be hard to spot. We have principals that have drawers full of uh, e-cigarette pens. Most parents don't want their kids to have them, and so they're not claiming them. They're adding these new posters in the halls for the upcoming school year. I've heard from many people that it's safe, it's safe, it's not bad, it's way better than a cigarette, da, da, da. So people aren't really like aware that it, it, it has like addictive substances in it. Well, some schools are finding more than the chemicals and nicotine inside. They're also finding THC and LSD. If a child is caught with a vape pen at school, Dr. Lombard says most times it's just a warning unless it becomes a repeat offense.